hi everyone and welcome back or welcome or welcome back to my channel so i am the girl who travels i do travel content and uh, as you may know it's been a long time since i went out of the country and as my previous um video i actually went to japan and yeah i'm now here in japan and sitting on the floor to film i actually want to eat this onigiri and my favorite peach iced tea yeah so i was just planning on eating and drinking this and i thought why not film while i'm eating them i still have a few minutes sometime before my work starts anyway i'm gonna speak in taglish tagalog and english so in case in case there are foreigners watching this i'm just gonna put subtitles okay so i went to japan on june 26th um that's a sunday um the flight was at 11 o'clock and i arrived here in japan at around 4 p.m it was actually on time oh no almost 5 p.m because japan is an hour advanced or ahead of time and the flight was on time <laughs> To be fair with Cebu Pacific, I think they respect Japanese time. So I'm gonna share with you my experience at the airport first in the Philippines. Um, I've been flying to domestic destinations in the past few months. I went to El Nido, Barakay, and Bohol. So I know how the airport um, works, but it's my first international travel in three years. The last time I went abroad was in 2019. I went to Korea and Thailand. So because of the pandemic, I was not able to go anywhere. So this was my first international trip. I know I had to prepare a lot of things and I know there will be a lot of procedures, procedures I have not gone through before that I'll be doing this time. So I was not really excited or nervous. I wasn't feeling anything before I left because I was just thinking about how tired I'll be on the day of my flight. So I went to, um, I arrived at the airport at around 7 a.m. and I lined up at the check-in counter at around 7.30 and I think I'm the second to check in. Um, for our flight there were not a lot of international flights on Sunday um, I think I've only seen Nagoya Ho Chi Minh Vietnam um, there was a flight to Incheon too and that's it going back to checking in the check-in counter lady Cebu Pacific staff asked for of course my passport and the, the plane ticket the printed out plane ticket that shows that I already paid the um, travel tax which is 1620 pesos I paid it online so I don't have to um, go to the end of the airport just to pay for it and just go back to the check-in counter again and also checked my Vaxert PH. I printed it out. I also have a screenshot of it. And yeah, that's it. And then she confirmed that I have 32 kilograms baggage. So she um, put a baggage tag on my luggage. And then I was free to go. Um, I went straight to the immigration. Oh no. So before the pandemic, the departure cards can be seen um, at the gate of the immigration. But now you have to get it from the guard at the entrance of the immigration. So I asked for one and then I filled out the departure card. I'll show you in the video. And again, you have to make sure that you will fill it out well in block letters um your name your flight number your destination your address in your destination your contact number your passport number flight number so you have to give them all those details so after filling those out this time the immigration was empty there were not a lot of people lining up it was very quick so at the immigration i was asked if i was a tourist and i said 
I, I'm not going there for tourism. I'm actually going to Japan to visit my sister. So she asked if my sister is a resident and asked me for my sister's visa copy. And I told her I don't have her visa copy, but I have her residence card copy. I showed her that. She also checked my what my insurance that has COVID policy, that has COVID coverage. So remember, you have to have that insurance, travel insurance with COVID coverage. She asked me how long am I going to stay in Japan and like when am I going home. said after a few months the date and she said okay na po. so that was very quick i think less than five minutes and i was free to go because i heard there's a lot of people being offloaded by the immigration these days and especially if you're going to a country that requires a visa it's not very easy to get a visa and there were a lot of people getting offloaded even if they already have Japan visa. So what a waste of time, of money, of effort. I went to the final security. I had to remove my shoes and so that they can x-ray my shoes. And then I went to the boarding gate. The boarding gates of international departures are almost empty. It was a new sight for me. And I liked it. It was not hectic, it was not noisy, and it's early morning, so it was actually relaxing. Um, and then we boarded the plane. The boarding didn't take a lot of time. The boarding procedure only took around 10 minutes, and then door was already closed. So that's like the quickest boarding I've ever experienced. I was seated almost at the end of the plane but there were no one beside me like the whole row was empty so i was so happy about that okay wait i think there's a delivery wait okay so i just i just had to receive a delivery but it's now okay all right i'm gonna eat because i'm so hungry and i'm gonna work in 30 minutes um, and i was saying that it was empty it's like the my favorite flight and the people were not noisy on the plane. Um, hindi naman siya super empty. The plane was not super empty. But people were not like cramped or like there's a space between people. And what else? Kain mga tayo. Okay, so paano ko na onigiri? Sorry, may sing it na mukbang. Okay, pull that out. One. Where's number two? Okay, this is number two. Three. Let's eat. Hmm? The flight was a little over four hours. And I paid for the meal because it's lunchtime. And I wasn't able to eat before I left for the airport. The food on the plane was so, so delicious. It's worth it. And they served me my food first. I don't know why like I'm seated at the last part of the plane so they gave me my food first and then they went to the very front row so I thought hindi bumili ng food yung nasa harap ko but then later on they served them food too so I was so happy because I was also so hungry the flight was so smooth until we arrived at Narita airport it was so hot in Japan until now it's so so hot it's hotter than the Philippines so parang sa Manila medyo malayo it's a little bit far yung pinagbubaan sa amin ng aeroplano and we had to take a bus to um drop to be dropped off at Narita airport um and then it's quite a long walk and it's so hot the air conditioner at Narita airport wasn't that cool and the line at the immigration was so long i didn't know why it was too long but yeah apparently there is a lot of procedures happening um you have to have the sos app so please search on google what is sos app it's color pink and that's where you upload your rt-pcr test the taken 72 hours before your flight that's where you upload your vaccination certificate your valid id your plane tickets your um basic information like how long are you gonna stay here where are you gonna stay here so please search sos app and 
um, once you've submitted all of the documents needed or information needed, the application will turn from pink into wait pink into green while it's still being reviewed and then it will turn into blue once everything has been um, submitted and reviewed and verified so once it's blue there's no more problem you can go straight at the immigration well mine is blue but the line was still long maybe because the staff had to like assist other people who did not complete the SOS documents like that so after the immigration I already got my luggage and I was asked to go to the customs a dog sniffed my bag if the, to check if there's meat or fruits and I don't have those and then I was asked to line up at the counter at the customs I submitted my customs card that I have nothing to declare because I didn't bring any luxury stuff or drugs or alcohol or anything but the staff the Japanese customs still asked me if it's okay for them to check my bag and I was actually in a hurry because I need to catch a bus to go to Yokohama but yeah I was imagining if I can say no to that request but yeah I just said okay you can check my bag so they asked me to put my bag or my luggage on the table we opened it and the girl checked it thoroughly um Kinapanya bawat sulok and kung may nakasingit ba if there's something inside the luggage itself and yeah my clothes my underwear they were all exposed well half my luggage is filled with Filipino snacks and a bag of instant coffee and milk was actually um inspected like they asked me if they can run it through the x-ray to see what's inside because of course it's powder and I said yes I just kept on saying yes but it was such a hassle for me I think it's my first time to be inspected like that although I understand that's their job but it took a lot of time after the customs I was already so exhausted it's so hot the lines were long and um, I went to find where I can claim my SIM card. So I claimed my SIM card and I still had to like sit down and figure it out how will it work. I was able to do it though it still took some time and I went to the bus ticket um, counter at Narita airport and I bought a ticket going to Yokohama and the staff told me that the the bus is gonna leave in five minutes and we communicated like this like Waikat Waikat means Yokohama station like that and she said Waikat five minutes and I said five minutes I started panicking and she said yes five minutes and I said far and she said no far I said where and the, the bus staff lady told me here date there 15 and I saw that oh it's not very far so I just bought the ticket and then I went to the gate and right after going out of the airport gate the bus line is already there I had to rush and get that bus because I'll wait like an hour and a half before the next bus and it'll be difficult to go to my sister's house at night okay so that's the story of the airport. I got on the bus and met my sister at Yokohama station. So, okay, it's quite a long story, but for you to imagine what you'll go through if you're going to Japan anytime soon. Um, yeah, they are now open for group tourists, but not for individuals or for solo travelers or for DIY. And for those who are asking what visa do I have, I actually hold a five-year multiple entry visa to Japan, but I had to cancel it because they're not allowing tourists as of the moment. I canceled it and I applied for a visit relative one. Um, my sister and I already talked about me going to Japan early in March and I processed the visa late April because I went to Boracay and I said I don't want it to be too early and I got my visa on May 3rd. I have that video of me getting the visa 
uploaded already. So please check my last vlog. So just to run through the requirements for your smooth exit and entry in Japan. Exit of the Philippines and entry in Japan. You have to have, of course, your Japan visa, your plane tickets, pay your travel tax, get RT-PCR test 72 hours before your flight. You have to get the Japanese translation or certificate of that RT-PCR test, though mine was not checked anywhere. You have to get also a travel insurance that has COVID um, coverage. Yeah, I think those are the crucial ones. Yeah, those are the requirements. To those who are asking if I went to Japan to work here, it's actually quite difficult to answer because it's both yes and yes and no. Like I'm not gonna work for a Japanese company, but I am still working here. I'm still teaching my Korean students online and I have my own travel business I'm managing so I am working in Japan but I am not working in Japan so I just have a lot of people asking me that if I'm here for work because it's quite long but anyway I'll end the vlog here I hope that this has been helpful it's quite long and please like and subscribe to my channel I'll see you next time bye